OK, so in this video, we've got a non-uniform rod of weight 60 newtons rests horizontally in equilibrium on supports at A and B as shown. The reaction at A is four times the reaction at B. Find the position of the center of mass of the rod. OK, so the fact that the rod is non-uniform means that the center of mass of the rod is not necessarily in the center. OK, that's what that means. So, if we draw a force diagram so we can see what's going on, we've got the normal reaction force at A, the normal reaction force at B. Now, we are told that the reaction at A is four times the reaction at B. So, if we call that just R, then this will be 4R. OK, so here's A and here's B. Now, we don't know where the center of mass is, OK? So I'm just going to pop it here for the time being. And it's got this weight of 60 newtons. And let's call that uh, x meters. So this distance will be 8 take away x meters, OK? So this is my diagram. Right, so um, if I take moments about uh, point A, total moment's going to be zero because we're in equilibrium. Then I've got the 60 Newton force going clockwise, and so that will be negative 60 times the distance x. And then I've got um, the reaction force at B going anti-clockwise, that'll be positive, and that'll be R times the distance, which is 8. And so that's going to be equal to 0. So we've got 8R is equal to 60X. OK, so that's uh, the situation that I've got there. That's my first equation. Now, I could divide that through by 4. Um, so 2R is 15X. OK, I'll leave it there. Right, now what else do I know? I also know that um, the resultant force is going to be zero. So if I resolve taking upwards as positive, I've got the 4R working upwards, I've got the 60 working downwards, and I've got R working upwards. That's got to be equal to zero. So 5R's got to be 60, and so R's got to be 12. So I now know uh, R is 12 newtons. So, uh, we've got two lots of R, so 24 has got to be equal to 15x. So, x is 24 divided by 15, which is 8 fifths, which is 1.6. So, the centre of mass is 1.6 metres away from A.